Okay. Well, I'm back with another episode of episode. And in the last episode, we created girly girl, girly girly girl. Yeah. That's the best name ever. Oh. Go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. Do you, uh, do you like my background? It's, uh... Oh, okay, never mind. Let's go play some more episode. Cheesy story. <laughs> this is probably like the worst video, worst series ever in the world. Get ready for more Mean Girls. Yeah. Oh, okay. Episode 1 of 20. Oh my god. Okay. Thanks, but my eyes. Oh, yeah, we left off here in the girl's bath. Thanks, but I was only trying to escape from that girl filming everything. Except I landed in the boy's bath. A great way to start my first day. Oh, you're the new girl. Don't worry. I was in your place last year. I'm Katie McGinty. Curly girl. I know how it feels. Like, you're being tossed in the lion's den, but you'll be fine. Oh, actually, you're the perfect unbiased party. Can I get your opinion on a boyfriend-related photo issue? Stay and be late. Sure, I'll stay and be late. Of course. So my, so my boyfriend, Aaron, is a freshman at their college now. He keeps getting tagged in a lot of lot of Drive me crazy, right? Says they're just friends. La 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 la. Girl talk. La la la. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I don't freaking care. Which dialogue? This is your stop. She's not much of a any and he made any questions before the uh, <laughs> Actually, uh, wait, uh, okay. Let's go, buddy. Party, let's be party scene isn't really my thing, but going to parties, I got to be this, so yes, I am. And then, uh, just because it's tomorrow, you're going, I guess I need to get invited. That's a lie, just come with me. Wow, thanks. thanks. Time to go to class! This is what you're looking at, or... Uh, he's all made you leave actually in a PT event. So, if you're a me, you got me, principal, double. Let's do this thing. Curly girl, girly girl, girl, age 17, senior. Says here your point was at 8 o'clock. That was 10 minutes ago. Sorry, I got lost. Rusty Sart, Mr. Girly, girly girl. Okay, president of the Geek Club, president of the President's Club, captain of Adelaide. 435 GPA, how is that possible? My mom's a great role model. I wasn't really asking. How, have you given any thought to what it is like to uh, It's my choice to let one dreams being you. Know, aiming high, it's the real but Oh, okay, here we go. Doctor, journalist, professional, lawyer, engineer. Ah, engineer. He's an engineer, and he has perfect for that. Oh, she's super excited. Well, you're sure I'm prepared for this dad to kiss me and my mom. Oh, my. <laughs> this dialogue. Oh, my God. So, I might have done the same thing. Well, you just made a precious miracle. Blah, blah. I don't have a lot of details on the father. So, I always thought if I was special, I would go be there, too. Okay, not to make you panic, but is it not like only one North Shore student per year gets into Yale? One? Some kind of school quota. I wish I knew, but it's my first day as guidance counselor, so technically I have no idea. Are there other qualified students? Not really, but one student is. How do I say this often? Hell bent on getting it. Knock, knock, knock. Speak of the devil. Regina? Do you two know each other? Don't believe we do. She must be sure it was forever ago, but we definitely Girly girl, we do know this is our new student. She's been oh good. I'm so bored of everyone here. Hopefully we'll have some classes together. She seriously doesn't know me. Anyway, Mr. Dumble, I just wanted to drop off my student body present and have to run thingy.
<laughs> I read somewhere that Yale loves student body parts, and so I figured I'd do it. Regina is my competition for Yale. She'll kill me if she finds out I'm applying. I just do girl to girl here thinking of Yale too. So much for that plan. You're applying to Yale? Uh huh. Brace, brace self for certain death. How funny, by the way. Oh god, this is where Regina ends my life. That jacket is beautiful, so sleek, unexpected. It's super weird. Super weird. Just keep talking to myself. We'll get through the year eventually. Oh, and there's this party tomorrow. You should totally go. I am. I'm planning to. Oh, perfect. Can't wait to see you there. Well, thank you. That's enough, Miss George. Okay, bye, Mr. Devil. I love you. I'm going to kiss you and marry you. She might have had a memory lapse. But I could never forget what happened with Regina George. George, 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 Jungle. If you are de start episode two for one pass. Do I do I have any passes? Uh, okay. <coughs> there are a thousand other schools where Regina could join a sorority. Let me join Cake Pops. So why Yale? It doesn't make any sense. It did feel off a little bit first, but then I, I heard. Oh god, someone's dying. Okay. Went to my granddaughter Regina, Pop Pop's favorite headache. Upon her high school graduation, I waived $3 million. Score! If she attends my alma major, Yale. Crap! Crap. Who knows, maybe that bus knocked her conscience place. Bus? Oh yeah, she got hit by a bus. <laughs> Might explain the memory loss. Real talk, how about pick a backpack? Okay. Lily has four How about a University of Amazon's fine institution that's nearby? Miss Dobo, yeah, it's my dream and it's my mom's dream for me. But it's even more than that. Yale's yeah, 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 yeah. Heavy stuff, alright, look. Regina might not seem like the act dab dab blah. She's smart, she wants to wish blah blah blah. I understand, but I'm gonna work really hard. Oh god, this is so boring. Is there anything I can do? Give me on the edge over the competition? You could win student body president. Last six North Shore students to get in to Yale have won. Election is on Thursday. You got three whole days to campaign. I can't run against Regina. Do you want to go to Yale or not? It's not that simple. Running against her when I... She... <gasps> Is it really complicated? Okay. Why do women always sit? Get in there and enjoy your first day, girl and girl. Girl and girl. Girl and girl and girl and girl. I don't need myself, girl and girl. Hey, girl and girl. You're okay. You look like you had a bad cheese. Fry. What the heck? I just found out that if I want to go to Yale, I have to meet Regina for student body president. Why? Regina's running for president? Looks like it. I was going to run, but now... I'm really on the fence. No, you must run! But Regina... Shut up! If Regina wins, the power will go straight to her head. <coughs> God. No, it's just fragile, peace will crumble, Clack warfare will pervade. We've... That's what happens when Donald Trump becomes president, even though he already is, so get ready. We'll be right back where we started last year, so it's started. You're running, and Janice and I will serve as campaign managers. Hi, everybody, this is Karen Smith with breaking news on Karen Uncensored. With Glenn Coco's party a day away, a new candidate has thrown her name in the hat. Right now, Regina lead, leads with a projected 938 votes. Trang Pack with a projected 209 votes. Newcomer, what's her name, has she got my vote? One projected vote. See, you're already generating buzz in the media. You must follow. Oh, Karen Uncensored, these elections updates will be our lifeline. Okay, we need to get moving. Let's talk about the smile. What does that have to do with the election? Only everything, girl. You're on that party meets every student with an ounce of social survival being under one roof. No one of the North Shore has ever heard of girl and girl, girl and girl and girl. 
Class party is your big chance to turn the tides. But what class do you have next? Uh, advanced Shakespeare? Or thing? Snap, that's perfect. Drama kids are key voting demographic. You know what would really win them over? A feast outfit. You can grab them from the drama room. I don't have enough kids. No thanks. Alright, your call. Do you best to get any good theater kids today? we will win the slug. You'll have to win over single Let's talk strategy later. Toodles. Oh, toodles. I meant Shakespeare. I need this class of my trade so naturally. Which you does too. Class, this is girly girl, girly girl, girly girl. Our new student, act like you care. Or don't. Girly girl, why don't you tell us something about yourself? Um, I just moved here. And I'm really excited to go to Yale next year. Oh, and I'm kind of addicted to... Chocolate. Milk dark. Milk dark. Doesn't matter, I want it all. The heck, she's just looking at me. He's, he's just watching me. And your favorite of Shakespeare's works? Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, that's the only one. Great pick. Have a seat, Miss Girl, a 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 girl. Now, where were we? I have a question, teacher. Downside, you did Mika! All right, Mr. Bergman was about to enlighten us all. Again, have a go. As I was saying, it's ridiculous that Shakespeare is still the gold standard of theater. For instance, I love you with so much of my heart that none is left to protest. Pollies! What kind of fantasy world is this guy living in? 16th century well, London, London. Exactly, it couldn't be further from reality. Charming as always, Mr. Bergman. Class, any thoughts on our This girl and girl and girl, what about you? I see what Mr. Bergman is getting at, but I have to disagree. You actually think this stuff is relatable to come to the audience? I actually do Shakespeare's portrait of all our love of timelines. Time loves is something this guy really needs to get knocked down a notch. But Damien said I need to. I see what you mean. Shakespeare was trying to write something that would appeal to the masses. Most people just can't handle reality. Very well put. This is the flirtiest argument I've ever seen. He was so nice earlier, but he turned into a total jerk. Super opinion, kind of. Oh God, was I staring? Miss George put the phone away. I was reading the ebook. The heck? You are so into him. Not a chance. Good, because I think he has a wrong word. <laughs> of course he does. Well, maybe he was just trying to get my head. Whatever, as long as he doesn't remember me. George, aren't you this kind of one? My book froze. If he does have a girlfriend, he'd bring her to that party, right? Except. So much for George morning me. cheeks are hot, my eyes are itchy, and I feel like I can't breathe. I'm allergic to Regina George. That was fun, right? Bundles. Depends on you can keep up. You okay? You look like a little flushed. Yeah, just order the bill for a stay panic attack. We'll keep it together. I need your A game or I'm going to get bored in there. But you're flirting with a guy or boyfriend. Okay, so anyway, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it, then click the like button. I mean, you don't have to, but if you feel like it, you can. Then, like, you can subscribe if you want, but, you know, you don't have to. And just leave a comment if you want. I don't really care. Okay, well, bye. Bye. Okay, I got it. Okay.